What's up guys, JB Tech here with a real easy way to get Siri on any iDevice running Spire and iOS 5 or later. The only withdrawal about this is you will need to get a hold of an iPhone 4S. Either you have one or you have a friend that is down to give you the data files to install Siri onto your iDevice. But it's really easy to do. What you gotta do first is, of course we will have to have it jailbroken, both the iPhone 4S and the iDevice you're doing this on. I am doing this on the iPhone 4. This is my iPhone 4 on the right, the black one, and the iPhone 4S right here on my left, the white one. So what we got to do is open up Cydia on both, and then we'll have to install Assistant Connect 4S on the 4S iDevice, or the iPhone 4S. So we'll go ahead and install that. And once that installs, we'll have to go ahead and reboot it and then this is restart springboard but we'll have to go ahead and reboot because I did have problems earlier so respringing it may not work so we'll have to simply go ahead and reboot this while that is rebooting we'll go ahead and install assistant connect on your iPhone 4 which is what I'm doing this on or if you're doing this on an iPod touch or whatnot you will have to just go ahead and install it. This is, by the way, it is Assistant Connect. And then the one on the 4S was Assistant Connect 4S. So be sure you're installing Assistant Connect on the device you're going to get Siri on. So if you haven't got Spire yet, we will also need that. This is actually going to install it with it. So go ahead and download Spire and Assistant Connect because you will need Spire in order for this to work as well. So while my iDevice or my iPhone 4S is rebooting right now, I'm installing Assistant Connect on my iPhone 4. So now that we got this installed and rebooted on my iPhone 4S, we'll go right here and we do see Assistant Connect right down there. Let's go ahead and open that up. And this may take a while, the Spire, it's a kind of a big file. So be sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or this may take a long, long time. Alright guys, so now I got Spire and Assistant Connect installed and now it's asking me to reboot. So I'll go ahead and reboot and that took me a couple minutes to download Spire. So like I said, it will take a while to download Spire because it is a big file. So be sure you connect it to Wi-Fi or else it'll take a while to download. Alright, so now while this is rebooting, we'll go ahead and let that sit until it reboots. And then right here on your iPhone 4S, we'll open up Assistant Connect. And then we'll activate Siri testing. Okay, everything checks out. So everything checks out. So that's a good sign, right? <laughs> so now we'll just close that out. And now we'll simply email our Siri data. So we'll just tap this so we can email it to our iPhone 4. And then this you will get this little icon file, assistant connect file thing. And then we'll tap here to send it out like a regular email. Alright guys, so now my iPhone 4 has rebooted. And then we'll simply open that up. And then we'll go here to our email. And we should have that gotten that email. And then right here it says the Assistant Connect 4S file. So we'll go ahead and tap that. Open it. And then it will go ahead and open this up. And then it said load it successfully, which is always a good thing. We'll go ahead and hold down the home button, of course, to activate Siri. Testing. And it didn't understand me. Let me try one more time. Testing. Mission control. I read you loud and clear. Over. I don't know what it understood, but it's working, right? Let's try something else. Text Joel. I love you. I love myself. Yeah, so. <laughs> there you go. Let's go ahead and send that real quick. Go ahead and send that. And then I should be receiving it. There he goes. Have you heard of that little thingy? There he goes right there. So that's Siri on the iPhone 4. Hope you got this working. 
If you like this video, go ahead and hit that little like button in the bottom left if it helped you out. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave that in the comment section below, and I will try to help you out the best I can. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more daily Cydia tweaks and awesome tweaks like these and Siri and then also jump breaks and all that good stuff guys. But until the next one guys, I will catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Peace.